Did Masako send you to try and convince me to acquire Infinity LTD? I think we both know that's not going to work. Our public perception is good enough. If you ask me, reaching out to save Infinity just makes us look weak. The internal neuroamp gives us the power to crush our competitors, not take them under our wing. This is exactly why Masako's time as CEO is finished. Oh? Your response tells me Masako must have given you similar advice. It'd be unlike her to not fully exploit an advantage. Especially when she believes acquiring Infinity is the right thing to do. Ah, uh, well, it does make Ryujin look good. And we do gain a wider customer base, which means higher profits. You're oddly right about this one, Op. I guess you are worth keeping around. As long as everyone has Ryujin's best interests in mind. This should make for an interesting meeting. An issue? That would be a foolish move. Dalton and Alexis are the only two against it. You'd never get the rest to shut it down. Dangerous indeed. For all I know, you're using it right now. The irony. Perhaps I didn't see it earlier, but you're right. The moment a competitor reverse engineers Vina's work, it'll be chaos. The last thing I want is to have my brain scrambled because some engineer didn't do their due diligence. Now, if you'll excuse me, I still have a lot of preparations to make. If it isn't my favorite operative, something I can help you with? Not much to discuss there. I believe I've made my case quite clear to Masako on why I am against it. All right, I could use the entertainment. Tell me why Infinity is a good asset. When it comes to profit, I suppose all my arguments do fall short. Huh. Well, what do you know? I think you just convinced me. Talent like yours belongs in the courtroom. Don't even get me started. First off, if I find out you use that device on me, I will tie you up in court on whatever charges I can conjure for the rest of your life. Second, that tech is one major human rights violation that no legal team wants to fight. I'll do whatever I can to make sure it's either severely delayed or collects dust in storage. Well, I'm both glad and surprised to hear the one person who has one say that. Masako is lucky to have you at her disposal, you know? You may be the greatest asset, aside from the internal neuroamp, that Ryujin has. This exchange has been surprisingly insightful. But now, I really do need to get back to my notes. Is Masako checking up on me to make sure I'm on her side? In this business, there's always a side. And right now, I'm backing Masako. We just need to grab Infinity LTD while it's got the public's full attention. I'm all about free PR, especially when it's painting us in a good light. I'm sure I can squeeze enough goodwill out of this to last us at least a year.
sounds like you've got a bit of your own agenda going on. Well, let's hear it. The possible backlash on tech like this is not lost on me. However, the internal neuroamp will define the next era of tech with Ryujin at the forefront. It's not an opportunity you just walk away from. You're right. The moment you violate your customer's trust, there's a good chance they'll never come back. Even worse, you push them into the hands of your competitors. Well, it seems your talents really do stretch beyond just being an operative. Good talk. Maybe I'll even consult you on future endeavors. I hope you're enjoying your new Neuroamp. And how's my favorite patient doing? Not seeing any temporal memory flashes or losing time, I hope. Oh, well, at least tell me what you think of the Neuroamp. I hope you're not actually suggesting that the technology I spent years working on and perfecting never sees the light of day. This is groundbreaking work. My life's work. Fine, fine. Make your case. After that SSNN broadcast, I can't imagine anyone's going to try something like that again anytime soon. No, I'm definitely not sure about risking my career over this. Well, this conversation's made me feel like a proper monster. But you're right. In a perfect world, tech like this is used for good. But this world is far from perfect. It is. It really is. For years, my only focus has been, is this possible? And then, how do I make it work? I never stopped to consider if it was right, or what it would mean. I guess it'll be up to a vote either way. It's not on the meeting agenda, so I assume you'll bring it up yourself? We just have to hope the others will see reason. So the next question is, what will the fate of Infinity LTD be? Exactly. Not that I want to gloat over it. Maybe just a little. Okay, so DeMarcus and I have really been looking forward to it, so fingers crossed this deal goes through. Well, this has certainly been the most interesting conversation of my day. All we can do now is look forward to the meeting, right? See you in there. <laughs> you operatives really will wear anything. Just the person I wanted to see. I want to get all the details locked down for this meeting, and I believe you to be one of the best sources available. Good. I prefer first-hand feedback when available. You've had the chance to encounter members of Infinity LTD throughout your assignments here. Do you think they're worth redemption? And why? Saving the jobs of thousands is all altruistic which is not a luxury corporations have. It's a financial burden. It would be a huge undertaking on my part. This is true. Infinity never had the financial resources to match our salary offers. Getting what few capable employees they have at half the salary we typically pay here could have major payoffs in the long run. Next question. What is your opinion on how Masako handled the mole situation? Expand on that, if you can. An excellent point. Why react and repair when you can prevent a situation altogether? I appreciate the insight. I suppose I should ask if there's anything I can do for you, considering how helpful you've been. It's only dangerous to those who can't afford one. Hence the added motivation that will bolster sales. 
I think we all know how averse I am to chaos. Finances are my forte, so you make a good point. Our competition has yet to truly master neuroamps, but the possibility is there. It's a risk I am unwilling to take. At this time, this has been rather enlightening for me. I appreciate the time. I assume Masako briefed you on her preferred outcome. That's because you're the one with the tool to do it. As long as Masako has the internal neuroamp on her side, she can't lose. If it were up to me, I'd have shut down Project Dominion a long time ago. I knew it was a grave security risk, and look what happened. You read my mind. Let's just hope Masako and the others see it that way. Plus, if we vote to acquire Infinity LTD, we're about to add a significant workload onto my team. The last thing I want to deal with are any more incidents this new neuroamp might cause. I imagine we're looking at months of work. Infinity LTD is obviously not known for their security. I only hope that Masako and the others will be patient with the process. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have some preparations to make. We'll be announcing Ularu's termination of employment at this meeting, so I need to have security ready to escort her off the premises. All right, everyone. As you all know, we've successfully exposed Infinity LTD's botched human trials and murder for hire through SSNN. The public is demanding their leadership, namely Lucas Drexler, face trial. And he's probably writing his resignation as we speak. Ryujin will be launching a statement, but I believe now is the perfect time to acquire Infinity LTD. Believe it or not, I agree. The acquisition has risks, and it's going to create a lot of work for all of us. But the overall payoff will be worth it. That, and Infinity LTD's current situation, makes them more affordable than ever. Arguments? None? Excellent. Moving on, then. I think what we're all overlooking is what led us to this situation to begin with. Yes, our security was compromised. But considering Dalton was hired by Masako, the issue obviously starts at the top. In fact, I propose that Masako be removed from CEO altogether. Ularu, this isn't a line you want to cross. And considering you're the mole, if anyone's going to be removed from power, it's going to be you. Hold up. Are you saying you lied to us? Dalton. The last meeting we had, you distinctly said Imogen was the mole, and she'd been dealt with. Do you even have any proof to back up this outrageous claim? Of course we do. The malicious code you hid on this slate to upload incriminating evidence against Masako onto Lucas Drexler's computer. To put it bluntly, Ularu, you're fired. 
Security will hold you in your office until a proper exit interview can be done. This isn't right. I should at least have the opportunity to resign. And allow you to still be marketable to a competitor? I don't think so. This may be news to me, and I will be reviewing the evidence closely. But this isn't something you just get to walk away from. Security, escort Miss Chen to her office and see that she stays put. You'll regret this, all of you. I believe the only regret would be trusting you to begin with. All right, back to business. All in favor of acquiring Infinity LTD? Aye. Aye. Good. Alexis, start drawing up the necessary documentation. Anyone have anything else they'd like to bring up? The internal NeuroAmp is a key component of Ryujin Industries' success for the next 10 years, if not more. Why would we shelve it after we've finally perfected it? I can't believe I'm saying this, but he's right. Regardless of the pros, the cons are too morally and ethically irresponsible to move forward with. The moment the public gets wind of the true capabilities of this tech, we're gonna suffer severe backlash. Very well. All in favor of shelving Project Dominion. Aye. Aye. Vina, prep Project Dominion for storage. Any other matters to bring forth? None? This concludes our order of business for today. If only there were more hours in the day. You're looking interesting today. Shelving the internal neuroamp. Not the outcome I anticipated. A fine point. But it still proves its usefulness. The truth remains. Lucas Drexler learned a hard lesson, and we exposed a traitor among us. You've proven yourself to be quite the asset here at Ryujin. I suppose it is. Gratitude isn't something you typically hear these days in the corporate world. I truly appreciate the work you put into exposing Ularu. No operative has ever had to investigate our own to the extent that you did. I can imagine it may have been a lot of pressure, considering you were fairly new at the time. My thought exactly. Imogene's instincts were right about you. Now, as promised, I have your bonus. I hope you'll find it appropriate for all you've done. And I'm promoting you to senior operative. You've more than earned it. It's well deserved. As for the details, I think someone back on the operations floor would prefer to explain those to you. certainly shaken things up around here. I still can't believe Ularu tried to frame me. An obvious misjudgment on my part. But now that's all in the past. It's time to get back to your typical day-to-day. -day. And I'd say it's good to be back if I hadn't returned to a mountain of paperwork. Now, since you are new, you've been dealing with people, but most of our assignments are generated on the mission board. 
the board holds any available assignments that our techs have pieced together and I've approved. Questions? No, but try to see that as an improvement, since I certainly do. The mission board is more efficient for both of us. Good. The mission board is generally self-explanatory anyway. With your promotion, you've earned yourself an office, so whenever you're ready, you can find your own personal mission board inside. And the best perk of them all, you're free to make your own hours. Oh, and uh, congratulations, of course. At this point, I wouldn't doubt it. Go check out the board, and if you have any questions, I suppose I can start up an open door policy just for you. Make it quick, I have a deadline. Interested? You in a buying mood today? Your amps mostly. Same as always. See you next time. find better weapons in Neon than the ones I'm selling here. Absolutely. We're open for business. Thanks for stopping by. Duels Goods has a full line of equipment. We have them. If you're looking for supplies, this is the place. Best deals in town. Tell everyone you know about our store. Need to need something? <laughs> yes, let's.
time to move on. Hello? I have plenty of supplies for your next expedition in stock. Sure, I have everything you need to explore the settled systems.
attention. Unidentified vessel. You have no faction markings or registered manufacturer. Please maintain course while we scan you. Assuming scans even work on whatever it is you're flying. All right, we're done. You're cleared to land at New Atlantis. What's up?
hospital. Post-incident log. Something has gone horribly wrong. We were in orbit directly above Dasra, monitoring our current experiments when we experienced a sudden energy surge. I fear the source came from the city itself. It triggered our graph drive and jumped the Oracle to an unknown location. We thought members of the crew were somehow lost in the jump. But later, we were attacked by what I will refer to as Vortex Phantoms. I thought I recognized some of them. Could it be that the energy surge has somehow transformed them and warped their minds?
thing didn't lock. The Oracle has continued to jump. It is completely out of our control. Not only that, but I believe the initial surge of energy we experienced is transformative. With each passing day, more of the crew succumb to whatever residual energy we were exposed to. Most are instantly hostile. But we discovered some are able to retain a sense of self. At least, momentarily. Iraq Vetal, post-incident log. After the initial jump, areas of the Oracle have somehow been sectioned off by strange energy fields or barriers. The fields allow no one to pass and are somehow able to repel, almost teleport, the trespasser back. I am certain these new fields are related to the Vortex Phantoms. Both resonate with the same energy pattern. The exact same pattern we were studying for Anasco's experiments. Something happened in Dasra. And if the situation is bad here, I fear for our brethren in the city.
its unit through the cell into place. If I can get to the control room, if I can just... No! They are coming! Trolls, why would they not respond to me? Work, damn you!
Warning. Gravity procedure initiated. Please check your surroundings to ensure personal safety. Restoring gravity in three, two, one. Cell connected. Report to operations for system reboot. The Vortex Phantoms? Where did they go? Something is wrong.
mainframe reboot initiated. Commencing protocol. Station lockdown completed. All major systems on standby. Mainframe reboot completed. Warning, station jump procedure initiated. Please check your surroundings to ensure personal safety. Jump in three, two, one. Execute. Jump completed. Station lockdown released. Initiating data transfer. Incoming transmission. This is Dasra calling the Oracle Station. We've received your transmission. Your orders are to send a representative down here immediately. It appears we have much to discuss. 